a little lamb. You know. You're very sweet. Oh. Good boy. Come on, little girl. Quite old, aren't you? You enjoying the sunshine? to be getting in by the sheeps. Well, you are lovely, aren't you? You are. Well, we're going to walk up to those rocks which you might be able to see up yonder. Come on then. He says, what are you doing, Nina? Oh, so I'm still... Still talking to us. I wonder which one of these sheep it belongs to. There's loads of lambs in here, but can't really go in properly with them because even though I don't think Ben would, it's not really something that we want a chance. Just in case they were to run and Maybe then he would chase. I don't know. I don't think so, but he is a dog after all. And farmers can shoot to kill if dogs go running after baby lambs. They can do it if they run after their sheep, let alone lambs. I'm tired today. My knees are killing me. And I filmed my lovely horse. Well, I got a cantering around the field, but missed most of the antics because by the time I closed the gate she'd pretty much finished because she always likes to have a lovely buck around. I always say she's doing either dancing or doing her exercises. Anyway, then I filmed her in a box and we got some lovely footage and then got disturbed by one of the lads coming back and unfortunately what ended up happening was, we dropped the camera, well the phone, and the footage has all got lost. So we're not happy about that. Anyway, here we are. I'm pausing for breath because hard work walking uphill and talking. Now I'm only actually a stone's throw away from where I work. When we get to the rocks which we're going to, which we're almost at, you can see my work from... Well, I might be able to get it on film. Part of it anyway. So here's the first one. Uh, someone's left the rubbish underneath it, which little one was just trying to get to. Butterfly! <laughs> you surveying Ben. Ben's never been up here before, have you lad? First time. I've only been up here once before. Last summer. That was a strange day as well. It was. How do we get oh gosh, tripped up. How do we get there then? Let's see, oh gosh, we're going the wrong way, aren't we? Um well I think we will actually go back down because it would be better to film from that side and then work our way back up. Go on, this one you go ahead. He says yes, but Nina, I don't know which way. Have <laughs> you been here before? <coughs> <coughs> I've got another cold. It must be about the hundred cold I've had this year. I 
ah, ah, ah. Not that way. So one problem with these walks that we keep going on, there's never any streams. Usually when, well, all of the walks which we go on at the other side of the valley, there's streams everywhere. Okay, Ben, I don't want you eating any of that. Come on. Good boy. I know why dogs feel the need to try and eat other animals' poo sometimes. But they do. Well, yeah. Well, he's not too bad, but he will, given a chance, sometimes. Here we are. Now, this actually was a quarry. And when I came here last summer, I was up there, up the rocks up there. And it was really strange, because this farmer dude came on his quad through this entrance here. Parked up. Eyeballed me. Um, <laughs> it was funny. Not funny I'm retelling really telling it, but it was, it was, it was odd the way he did it. And then he went off, back, disappeared into nowhere on his quad. He had very ginger hair, never seen him before though, no idea. I mean, obviously he was the farmer, but we don't know who he was. Never seen him before or since. Just like I was thinking, he was, what's he doing? Well, he was checking out what I was doing. We weren't doing anything wrong, just was sunbathing on a rock up there. Hey look, this is someone has been someone's been I don't know what they've been doing. But I can't see. yeah, no, someone's made a fire, there's a little bit of charcoal in there. And a bottle. Someone's been drinking and making fires. So uh, which way should we go up? We'll go and explore the rocks, shall we, like we always do. See what, if there's any writing on them. Isn't this lovely? Look at that. Well, she says, I, I can't see what the camera's picking up because it's all too sunny. But I will walk. Good boy, Ben. Don't go too far down there, little one. Maybe we will actually have a look from this angle and then walk back up. Oh, he's having a roll in poo. Ben! Ben! No! You can't roll in that. You'll smell disgusting. And he's just had a bath and smells lovely. So, here we are. The grand entrance. <laughs> Where it looks like someone has just literally bulldozed the wall. I mean, actually, that is a... I don't want to say everything's always strange all the time, but it is a bit strange, because look. It's like, who does that? Oh, yeah, we don't want a wall here anymore. Douche. Well, you see, this little one says it's strange, too. There's a huge reservoir over there. I hope it's picking up. I think it is. It's all right, Ben. We're going to go up there in a minute. So, down that way is a town called Keefley. Well, there's a place called East Morton that you come to first. We're only about a mile away from there, if that. That's directly opposite Ilkley. There's a road which goes across the moors to Ilkley from there. So there's that reservoir. Now, all these fields here... Actually, my boss owns a lot of these. We have the horses out in them. But at the moment, they haven't all been turned out yet. Maybe we'll be able to uh, find some horses to film on the way home. Anyway, we're going to go up. Oh, those moors over there. It's where I filmed Shipley Glen. Um, rocks. They're over there. And... Okay, one second then, just one second. And then that park's just down there. So really the rocks we've filmed so far <coughs> have all been in line with one another. However, I was thinking about this and there's a few other places I want to start filming. Um, I just thought I'd do here first because 
and there's another area that I want to do which is in alignment with the other ones but then when we start like moving on away from that line actually if you were to like go from a bird's eye view we'd be working in the circle I think because we want to do here and then we want to go to Ilkley and film over there so we'll start to work in a circle really and my point is that they're all kind of in alignment with one another it's just that obviously the further out we get that's as the circle starts isn't that right it is yes it isn't it then so what we re- oh i'm going the wrong way because i was going to go down there wasn't i but then i got distracted because i'm dying to film these ones up here it doesn't take much to distract me sometimes honesty honestly i'm terrible terrible i would really wish that we had the footage from my horse earlier running out of time you see because come monday she's going to be gone and i know she'll be back but people don't always know what the future holds and maybe, maybe i won't be there who knows i guess i will be i mean we there for years but one day i won't be can't be there forever at some point in time I have to change that will get a pay rise <laughs> come on little one we're going as directly as we can to these rocks there's no pathway here and it's quite steep Ben's not impressed by the ground he's going down to the path down there but it's easy for him to run back up. Not so easy for me. I've only got two legs. Look at that. Come on. Oh, good boy. You were having a good leap around then, weren't you? Oh, there's a really little lamb over there. Look at that sheep in that field. And this little one's having snuggles. Good boy. Hmm. Come on then. Off my leg. Good boy. Let's continue up this little pathway here. Oh, she says. I wonder how long it's taken to get here. Let's see. 12 minutes. Nearly 13. Good boy. We do like choosing these vertical hills to go up, don't we? I had a funny dream last night. Well, I say funny dream. I wasn't actually asleep. I'd just woken up and I was convinced that we had a power cut because they wanted to light all the beacons <coughs> across all the different... <laughs> it sounds so silly. Like, each town has a beacon point like from the olden days when if there was a message they'd light the beacons so that all the town folk knew and and would meet like in where whichever meeting places and in my like ridiculous state of consciousness I was in I was thinking that that was going to happen <laughs> crazy and and I was thinking that for it to happen and for us to be able to see to know it was happening there'd be no power so that was one thing I was thinking but this other thing that I actually did dream hey look at these sheep I'm pointing down here because the sheep are all walking up together they must be like going to get fed or something I don't even know if you if I because I, I can't see what I'm just randomly pointing the camera at things not knowing if it's picking up or not Anyway, this is pretty amazing. This would be a good place for a beacon if you're going to light one. Let's have a closer look. Yeah, and my other dream, well, my dream, should I say, just little, just small, but I dreamt that somebody had posted information. I think it was a dream anyway. I'm sure this isn't real. And it was about Illuminati pets and how they train them. So, hey, look at this. 
in memory of Dawson Jowett of it says of White Rose, founder of the Airedale Beagles and master, 1892 to 1934, a great sportsman and a true friend. Wow, of all the places, he must have been really rich to end up here overlooking everywhere. That's amazing. So that was 1934. Well, is he buried here? Oh my god, and look. So there would have been another one here, or would that one originally have been there and it's been moved up? And well, this is interesting, to say the least. I mean, this is huge, it really is. Amazing, I can't believe that's there. I've never explored this though, so nothing should surprise me. Oh, here's the little one, he's over there. There's a woods down here, apparently. See, it would have been better if you filmed the other rock walls, and then we could have gone into there. As it is, we might have to uh, go into there anyway and then pick the filming up on the way back out, perhaps. Oh, I nearly, nearly went backwards then. Well, there's no graffiti, which is nice for a change, but I don't think people really come up here. I mean, as you could see from the pathway, let's have a little peek at this one at the, here, at the side. I'll look at Ben posing. You want to go in the woods too, don't you? See if anyone else buried or in memory of around here. I mean, these aren't as big. These are about, well, a bit taller than me. I'm five foot nine. Well, I'm five foot eight and a half, actually. All right, we're going to go around and then we're going to go on the top of these there and then we're going to survey the whole area. I'm sure that extra bit higher is going to make all the difference. He just flew by me. Go oh, and then we'll go up. You can tell how high up we are just by looking at these huge trees, which were about halfway up. Oh yes, who's that? Up oh, I go now. Oh. I think I don't need my coat on, it's very warm. What has he found there? Nothing that interesting. So here's the back of the ones which have got the in memory thing. Can't remember his name. Well, I can remember the Jowett bit. Oh, good boy. Come on. He says, don't be daft. Why would I want to go? 
onto an area like that. Dangerous, that's what he says. All right, we'll have a quick look and then I'll come back down. So, I am actually, when I'm filming this here, I'm going to show you. That's the drop. So, oh, there's more writing up there. To be careful. So, let's see, what can we see here? I'm blocking it, aren't I? JM. And what does the other bit say? H M H. That is what it says, H M H. writing on this bit up here, which I think is Facebook's fan flame. Yeah, I mean, who could write that there? And how did they write it without killing themselves? So obviously at some point in time, well, one would expect to be able to write that there, where the lower bit is, you'd need something to step back onto. <coughs> obviously not just a, a drop. I said an arrow when I first did it, but it doesn't say that at all. There's a turn at the bottom. Oh, Ben, I'm sorry, darling. I'm being as quick as I can. Maybe we'll just have to film this and then try and figure out what it says. When I'm not up here. There's a date. Picking up on camera, but it's not picking up in reality. Um... 1894, I think. I'm sure that says 1894. Oh my gosh, look what he's done. It's come up. He says, no thanks, I'm off back down. I don't blame you, Ben. I'm coming too. Just see if there's any more interesting marks. Sheepdogs by I bet that's the farm which the man came from on the quad. Right, I'm gonna have to get off here. There's not that much else to say, I think. You see now we're higher up the trees, almost at the top. Although you can't really tell because it depends which trees I'm looking at. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah. So this here, that's not natural. And obviously that isn't there. Oh yeah, somebody's got good at jumping. Oh, gosh, I could sit here and just lie down and not move. Come on, little one, come and say hi. It's so, but, but it's so high up. I don't fancy it up there so much. Oh, we definitely don't want to go down there, Ben. Now I spotted something else which looks like it's a carving. This bit here. I know it doesn't look anything that major, but they're all like not worthy marks, aren't they? Right, there they are. I think, to be honest, the rest of it is from the weather. It is wild up here in the winter time. Oh look, look, someone's put a V. Nice surname begins with V. Oh yes, I did show off. He keeps getting up and down. Oh look, and also, that looks like a footprint mark. Which 
actually. That didn't hurt. Oh gosh, stop it, Nina. Right, I think. Oh no, there's just one other thing of interest, maybe. Look at those lines there. It's not picking up. I don't think there's two lines going down. They're going the wrong way because all the other lines are going horizontally. <laughs> Look, just so you really can tell, this is what I mean about this carving here. And it's only about half a metre between the end of that and this drop here. So clearly that's been made with something to step back onto. We're going to check out who it's in memory of again before we go off yonder. Good boy, Ben. Says, oh, thank God, she's down safe. She's down safely. Oh look, there's a plane about to fly over us. They didn't want to send out the quad this time, so they sent out a plane. Well, if you're filming us, I'm filming you too. Uh, even though I'm like, I don't know if you're picking up. There's no point looking directly at the sun. Let's go then, Ben. Oh look, there's a hole here. What's caused that? That's a strange hole there. You shouldn't. Well, that's part of a rabbit. Well, I would imagine rabbits have made that bit there. But that there, that's a bit of an, a unique hole because it's only tiny <coughs> and quite deep. Oh, look at this amazing shadow. <laughs> All right, let's stick to points of interest. And I've just seen a mark here. Oh, she says. There we go. Back to Frunty. Well, or a, or a, or a part of a, a zero or a no. Noughts and crosses. There's a mark there. That's not natural. Ben's thirsty. I think we're going to need to find some water. So let's get down there and see that name again. Right, some marks here, which is great marks, I think. Well, I suppose it's possible people might come and climb this. I mean, if I was a rock climber, it would look like quite an interesting practice rock, I guess. This definitely, definitely shouldn't really be there but lots of things that shouldn't be places are so yeah it was I'm gonna ask my friend at work who is Dawson Jowett and are you related to him or were you related to him interesting <laughs> whoever would have thought that we'd come to yeah I can't wait to do that we can do that tomorrow should we film it as well? Oh, God, that was weird. I felt like I had chains under my feet, but obviously I haven't. Anyway. I must be a bit dim then, because when I first was looking at that, for some reason it wasn't registering in my head that it, it, that was his surname. Now, where's the gate into these woods? Let's have a loop in here. Oh, and when I was standing up there, I didn't really properly survey, but it makes m not much difference. All those sheep which were filing up to the top field are now scattered all dead randomly, and no one's come to feed them. In fact, they look like they're off back down, some of them. What time are we on? Ten to four. Busy that road, but it's Good Friday, and cars have been all over the place. Now, how do we get into these woods? That's what we want to know, isn't it? Can't see a gate down there. It's a good job you can eat grass, isn't it? Because that has moisture in it. And we will find you some water then. 
bear in mind we haven't even really been out more than half an hour. Well, just over by a few seconds. Good boy. Oh god, there's somebody walking up there. We weren't expecting that, were we? into the woods. Should have asked them where the entrance was instead of pausing. But we always feel so silly filming. Right, well we're walking now towards the other like quarry type area. And I can see my work from here. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but there's a roof over there. That's the yard, the like American barn style yard. Hmm. Good boy, Ben. Good boy. What are you thinking? Where are you thinking? Why are we always on the top of these huge drops? Actually, it's so far down, it makes me feel a bit sick. Humongous. I don't think we've seen people up here. Well, this is a genius thing to do. Good Friday, people will be out walking. We'll come up here because there won't be anyone. And those sheep, they are, they're filing back down in a line, the way they just came up. I'll just point my camera towards it, you never know, it might be picking up in the distance. Fascinating. <laughs> sheep on a mission, a mission which seems to have no purpose. But I'm sure they think there is a purpose, and maybe there is, I just don't know what it is. Two more people over there. Oh, hang on. There's people which are stood by the rock looking at the plaque which we were just filming. And they look like they might have climbing stuff with them. Keep an eye on them, we will. I think we might go down this strap here and then film, film the uh, rocks, I guess. Ben's already off. I can see the way down. That looks easy. Oh, he's coming back up. So clever. like being on uh, Hadrian's Wall walking down this. Those sheep, off they've gone. Two by two by two. Same My shadow is making it hard to see, but there is. Look, you can see 
right into it, can't you, Ben? Ben's got his new collar on. It's all bling bling. <laughs> it looks really bling bling in the sunlight. Definitely a rabbit hole. There's little rabbit droppings at the top. And there's quite a few of them. I think stunned Paul Warren, actually. All watership down moments could be happening. Well, we don't want that, do we? That wouldn't be good. So, yeah, those people are by that rock looking still. And we're ending up at the side we don't want to be on. And those sheep are walking into the even lower down. <laughs> right, come on, let's make a purpose here. Come on, Ben, we're going to get down here. If we don't fall down one of these holes. He just had his head down the, the rabbit hole again. Right, are you going to go first? No, he says, I'm off. He's, he's quite liking the smell from the rabbit roarings. Right, I'm going to try and get down here. Ow. I just sat on a bit of a thistle. There's huge rabbit droppings here. There must be giant rabbits. Here he comes. Hello. There's more down here for you to get your nose in. And you'll be able to get your head in this one. It's huge. Oh, yeah. If you were still a little baby, you'd be able to go in there. Yeah. <clears throat> I think he's liking this walk up here. It's more interesting than... Oh, uh, 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 leave it. Come on, then. Ben. Oh, there's a ba dead baby rabbit over there. Good boy. I don't know what I'd do if he started running around. Ow, I just got stung by something. Ow. Ow. Yeah, if he started running around with it in his mouth, I'd be heartbroken. He used to have a husky crossed with a German Shepherd, and he... Lovely dog, loved him to bits, but if he, well, yeah, let's just say he wasn't so good with, uh, we found dead animals, or, Ben, leave it. Is that a dead lamb? Yeah, he'd eat them, and I couldn't take them off them. It is, it's a dead lamb. Oh, God, what's happened here? Oh, I think it's decomposed. Oh, God. Now, that's strange for it to be here and left like that. Oh, it smells absolutely foul. It's not stay here. Poor little lamb. But it must have been there a while because it, its face is sunken and there's bugs crawling around it. That's awful. I mean, the wouldn't leave it in his field, he'd take it. Yeah, that's not good. You are a good boy, Ben. I'm so glad that you are not like Charlie used to be. Otherwise we'll be having problems. Well, he wouldn't have been able to come on this walk. Come on, then. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, people, if you don't like taking animals out of your pet dog's mouth, don't ever get a husky slash a German Shepherd. <laughs> or if you do, make sure you train them to drop it. I didn't get him until he was... Already about a year and a half, two years old, and he was already, well, he, he hadn't been very well trained before we got him. Right, we're going to start at this far bit and work our way around. Let's hope we don't come across any more dead animals. I mean, it's not strange for a lamb to be dead, just strange for it to be left here. And a farmer wouldn't just forget. 
So there's a big drop back here. Looks like it's been scooped out at some point. I mean, like I said before, this was a quarry at some point in time. So I've been told anyway, but, but it looks like it was, I mean. Was a quarry and now it's a huge rabbit warren. Look at this entrance here. You know, that could be, well I don't think it is, but it could be just that or a fox den or something it's definitely a bit big for rabbits that and there's another entrance there oh, sorry if you're losing Ben at this rate he'll be off ski anyway why don't I see an X but I can't I can see it on camera but I can't see it in real life where is it coming from strange the things which pick up on camera which you can't see sometimes in reality and then vice versa you can see things in reality which won't pick up on camera <laughs> anyhow oh oh god I feel oh hang on I've got bit sticking into my jumper. No wonder I feel like I'm getting stung. But I think I did get stung on my hand by something. Good boy. Right, come on, let's speed this up because uh, even though I've only been awake from water for 40 minutes, it's warm today and it definitely looks thirsty. So nothing really to see except for that oh you know funnily enough since um, I thought since I thought that I'd finished Prince of Wales Park of course I've noticed other, other noteworthy bits of interest but anyway I wonder what's been bolted into there and that's how it Appears like something at some point's been bolted in. Because this is in a square, pretty much. Where I saw the bits of interest at the Prince of Wales Park was on the rocks, where I always think it looks like a seat, and you could see where something had been slotted in. But anyway. Just missing the P, isn't it? Good boy, Ben. Hey, my farm at work is called... That's the name of it, the bottom bit there. Naz's Crag. Well, this will be called a crag, probably, these rocks. See, <laughs> in my head, this looks like a seat here. It's warm. Warm down here where there's no air. Well, not really that much graffiti wise to see. Someone called Ian. I was once seeing a lad called Ian many, many, many years ago when I was still young. J M, I think that says. Or J N. Or John. <laughs> oh, oh gosh. Anyway, this looks a little bit more interesting because it's all right. K M. No, that can't be. Oh, right. 1978. I thought it said 17 for a moment. 1978. I was born in 17. Seven, 1977. 
RM, KM, I think it's a KM. There's more. HG, I think it says. Oh, there's loads. Oh, God, I'm falling down. <laughs> Ben's happy because he's got his head stuck in the rabbit warren, which I'm stood next to. Here it is. I don't know if you can... Oh, Jesus, I need to look where I'm walking. All of those little holes are rabbit, hole, rabbit holes. Right, oh, this was the bit which I wanted to film just up here. Just this bit here. I just thought these scoop marks. I'm not sure how much you can tell, but I don't really know what causes them here. So that's that really. I think we're going to put this onto pause and go find some water for a certain little dog. In that fact, maybe we'll stop filming and relocate because I don't know how to get into it. Oh, we'll just do this side. I didn't realise we hadn't covered it all. <sighs> how annoying. It's not that I don't want to film, it's just that I want to get him some water. So, what's quite interesting here is the fact that it's all in such circular motion, but that it doesn't isn't usually the case. And the same with this bit here. Oh my God! And also at the Prince of Wales Power, which God, sorry Ben, which if you haven't. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's a different video I uploaded. It's got the name and the title. Um, but yeah, they've been planting trees right in front of the rocks. Like they're trying to hide them. It's quite strange. Well, no, sorry. They planted some trees just to the side of the rocks. And it looked like where I last filmed where they'd been doing some kind of prep work. It looked like they were thinking of maybe planting some right in front of the rocks. Which I haven't been back there since I don't know if they have maybe maybe they never were going to but I think they were going to so but a group of people have taken over the upkeep of the park I think um, so it seems a bit odd to me why you would want to plant trees right in front of the rocks but maybe I have no idea I really have no idea why And they put soil on top of the right part of the area to the right of the seat bit. Well, the bit I call the seat. So, it looked to me like they were up to something anyway. It's a bit cooler in this side, it's not quite as sheltered. Right, let's have a look then. Oh look, so, again... Well, I was just sorry, there's just that mark there was getting my attention but what I was really going to aim at was these here so here we've got six holes so again something's obviously been bolted into there no way that they've just come on their own is there and what was quite interesting which I can't even see where it was now is really this writing which I'm next to now but we'll have a look at this in a second A E S G they're just people's initials obviously but someone's oh god I'm right next to a huge bumblebee let me see if we can film it <laughs> it won't keep still funnily enough yeah someone's like managed to write up there A D and John so we've had rock climbers graffiti rising and there's a bee up there i mean the letter b not an actual bee and then there's a special little dog that someone's like got with them can't imagine who 
And there's more writing up here, but yeah, God, it's just people's names and stuff. It's not that interesting. Okay, it's not even carved in, it's just like chalk. So, good boy then. You're gonna go back down. I don't even think it's picking up, but it is. Uh, I'm not sure. And I can't work out what it says because it's just only done in chalk and it's not very interesting, I don't think. Sometimes I play back these videos and think that I should have like paid more attention to certain things, but it's a bit difficult because this sort of dog doesn't really like spending too much time standing looking at rocks. Look, do you know, I love the fact that he ignores the dead animals, but he's just picked up the bottle. <laughs> um, ben, come on, we've got water in the car and we're only like five minutes away from it, so let's go down there. And we'll have to come back up to the woods and do them another day. <whistles> come on, go this way. Don't want a chance that the fact that he might touch that. So we're just next to that poor dead lamb. Good boy. There's got to be water in the field. Let's just have a quick peek and see. Oh, he's having a roll. Is that nice? Oh, yes, he says. It must smell good because he keeps he's rolling in it. Probably rolling in. God only knows what foul, disgusting animal remnants. However, he thinks it's heavenly. And what I was just thinking was, there's water somewhere because we've got a field full of sheep right next to us. So let's go and investigate then. If we can find some water, then we can get you a drink and go to the woods. If we can't, then it's to the car, isn't it? So we're back at the randomly smashed open wall. <laughs> I have to laugh to myself because it does just look like someone's just literally bulldozed it. You know what, Ben? I think we might be near water. Come on, let's have a look. It wasn't the plan because I was going to stand at the top and do it the sensible way. But hey, ho, things are always lost that plan, do they? Ben, you need to stay close to me now. Oh, it's cheap. Ben! Ben! Come here. Yeah, well, there should have been water there, but so it wasn't. Oh, dear God, we're going to have to go back then. Empty, isn't it? What a useless farmer, because who has a sheep and no water? Go back the way we came. Well, those two men that we walked, that I switched the camera off by, climbing that rock. So that explains some of the marks, doesn't it? That's all right, little one. We'll be back at the car in five, and you'll be really plemished big bottle of water in there. Come on. Should have brought it with me. Failed. How long has this been on anyway? Nearly an hour. Right, well, I think we're going to switch off because I can walk faster then. And besides, if anyone's still watching now, you must be asleep with boredom. So... I'm going to switch off. I've just seen a bucket, but it's right down just opposite where my car is. That must be where the sheep have got some water in. Yeah, I can see one drinking at night now. I was going to switch off, but then I just thought to myself, maybe I can film the lambs on the way back down. So 
Horse bikers. When I was filming the first time ever, I put Shipley Glen, which is just over there. Um, and when I just finished, I was getting followed by a black, two black motorbikes with the drivers were dressed all in black. I think it was two. Or, oh god, I can hardly remember now. Ben! Come on! Gonna go this way. Good boy. Anyway, the point is that they just parked up on the, uh, like, bridge I was on revving the engine at me and um, because I felt like a dick filming although I did get them like briefly in my camera view before I switched off I just wish so much I kept it on because after I switched off they uh look nice the night oh god right where I was standing there was a big drop behind me in a stream and they drove by so close, it was kind of scary. Well, it wasn't scary, but it was definitely, I think, meant to be threatening behaviour. Because why would you do that to someone? And that was the first time I'd ever filmed up there. I just thought it was quite interesting. Strange things usually always happen when I come to places like this. Oh, they did last summer anyway. They don't seem to so much anymore. Right, Ben, we're going to switch this off. Oh, what, are we going to get the lambs, or...? I just don't want him to run after them. I think once he's had a drink, I'm going to go for a walk on... Maybe see... The, oh, maybe it's not the best idea to go to where the horses are with him with me, because he does sometimes try and chase them, and I don't want him to get kicked. I can see it film the horses any time and they can have all the camera space without a little dog saying what's about the bee but he's very good and he's very patient bless him because it's not nice for him getting none of the attention like today but once I switch off and once we've had some water we're gonna go back out anyway just not back up there Oh, he's a good boy. He's so close. Oh, hang on a minute. Little lammies. Good boy, Ben. Oh, look at these two. Oh, they're so gorgeous. I know, Ben. We are literally a stone's throw now from the woods. Don't panic. And I know you're not with the gaps. Lambs. There's these two here, but they're a bit older. But it's these two which are looking at me just down there, which I'm hoping the camera's picking up. They're gorgeous. And they're so young. Oh yes, I can see that they're on camera, but they probably look tiny. Well, they are quite tiny. Let's get these two which are right next to us. Wouldn't it be cool if it walked over? Oblivious to me. Little lamb. Little lamb. Alright, well, that's that. I'm going to stop this right here, right now. I'm going to end on this beautiful view of the little lambs. And just on the off chance anyone's still here, thanks for watching. And if you want to comment, then you're more than welcome to. All right then, bye bye. Bye bye, little lambs. <laughs>